us. Welcome to the commentary table, sir. Thank you very much, Joe. It's the main event, so of course, the national treasure has arrived. I gotta ask, are you a little concerned? You've got zero points so far. You gotta get out of a hole. Don't start with me, Galley. Listen to me. I know a thing or two about being a team captain. That team happens to be strictly business, which is the whole standard that gets set for team action in professional wrestling. Now look, I'm in part, a part of this champion series, all well and good. The reality is, even a Michelin star chef has to have good ingredients, so I'm making the best I can with what I got. And that's all I got to say about it. I was under the understanding that you went and shopped for those ingredients, but okay, let's move forward, that's fine. I you want to end up on my bad side, too? I think I've been on your bad side for a long time, well, That's Nick. true. You're right about that. All right, all right. Let's get to the main event right now. The following match is your main event. Coming to the ring first is Mr. No Days Off from Miami, Florida. This is Fred Rosser. Nick, you talk about ingredients. Fred Rosser seems like an incredible ingredient. Hey, no, no doubt about it. An absolute thoroughbred athlete, no days off. And that especially pertains to the gymnasium where this man puts in the hours. He puts in the time, and I'm very confident that he's going to get the W here tonight. And his opponent, weighing at 260 pounds from Waxahachie, Texas, this is Trevor Murda. Hey, don't you be worrying about me, big boy. you got to worry about Mr. No Days Off. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, that's right. Listen, you don't tell him what to do, man. Oh. Yeah. Then what you gonna do about it, you big goof? Come on, Fred. Get back. Let's go. your shirt back, Adam. Look at this. What you're witnessing, Joe, is right away, Fred Rosser is stepping up to the plate and showing some of that psychology that has made me a world champion for over 900 days. I'm curious, when you when you picked him for this matchup, was there something specific you had in mind strategy? Yeah, thoroughbred athlete, Tim. Look at him. I mean, what a physical specimen. And now he's in there with... He's Mr. in there with Emotion a brawler. Himself. He's yeah, in there yeah, with yeah. a brawler. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Hothead, Mr. Country Bumpkin, Mr. Let His Emotions Get In The Way Of Making Good Decisions, and Mr. Make Excuses, Trevor Murdoch. Couldn't get... Oh, look at okay. Disrespect. Keep your head, Fred. There's an exchange. Oh. Look at Fred Rosser go toe to toe. Now that's it. Back to the wrestling. Back to the grappling. Bring him down to the mat. To my knowledge, I, I mean, these guys just showed the intensity about this competition to start this match. And I know a lot of that had to do with uh, getting, the, getting the taste slapped out of your mouth, but that exchange was vicious and it showed both of them were in. That's a European hold right there, Tim. A cravat. Now a headbutt. See, Fred Rosser can do it all. He can wrestle, he can brawl. Fred Rosser can do it all. Now look at these shoulders right to the midsection. And that takes some serious guts to hit to Trevor Murdoch's midsection. Let me tell you. Nick, one could argue that Trevor Murdoch can do it all as well. He can wrestle, he can strike. Look at those chops. He can, yikes, he can do it all. What he can't do is get the job done against an old national treasure. And you know this to be true. Look at that. They're slapping the leather, boys. This is the NWA. Get up, Fred. Shut your mouth. Dude. You shut your mouth. Don't disrespect me. I'll come in there and slap the taste right out of your mouth. I, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a, Fight back. I'm a little disturbed that, that, that Trevor's uh, focus, Trevor's actions, no, yeah, that Trevor's focus too. is right over here that, on Tim. you. I'm absolutely... I'm disturbed about Trevor's actions, too. He's a disgrace to the NWA. He's a disgrace to professional wrestling. And that's why he's not the world's champion. And I am. Fight back, Fred. Make an example of this guy. Trevor needs to focus. There it is right there. Buster. Oh, man. Close into the cover. Kick, kick it out. That's, that's much better. Trevor needs to focus on the guy in the ring, not the guy sitting over here uh, that is the announced table. Well, that's exactly the point, Tim. Is that Trevor, you can't trust the man. He's got too many emotions. He treats everything like a barroom brawl, and that's why he's not the kind of man you want representing this organization. Now, Fred Rosser, on the other hand, I'd be proud to share the ring with as a contender for the World Championship if he was to earn that opportunity. Are you saying, I'm just curious, are you saying that Trevor Murdoch has not earned that opportunity? Because I think he has. It looks to me like he has. Tim. Trevor, through, by, by hook or crook, somehow managed to get a World Championship match with me before. And who's still the World Champion? Hey, I can't, I, I, I've never, I've never argued that. And, and what will, and, and that will, that will forever be a boil on the backside of the NWA legacy. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to try and move on and rebuild. 
And hey, from what I'm seeing right now, it might be with Fred Rossa. Doing a hell of a job here. He, him down he, is, he is bringing it right now. Hey, step out of the way, Robert King. Stop being so biased toward my team. Everybody in this company, starting from you, Joe, all the way to Billy Corgan, they're all against Nick Aldis. That's why I got forced to... I got, well, why are we doing a champion series? Like, why isn't Strictly Business allowed to be a team in this whole thing? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because we'd dominate this thing and we'd wash them out. So what is that? What happens? Okay, now we're gonna start from scratch. Back to the beginning. Uh, Marxist Billy Corgan making everybody start equal and give, put it at a disadvantage and make me pick from whatever's left over. Uh, Nick, That's I, it, Nick, Fred. Could, could, That's could, it, Fred. Help me out with this what, Marxist? You heard me. Everyone is not equal, especially not in the NWA. You all, you are all planets revolving around my son. This is a dangerous yeah. position here. Either one of these. Come on, Fred, right take him out. Take him out, Fred. Sacrifice yourself if you have to. Closing oh, clothesline, sending Rosser into the ring. Look out, Fred. Oh, no. He's in the drop zone. Oh, there's, the, there's the bulldog. Oh, my goodness. And he got every he bit of that. He can get another five points for his team right here. Here it comes. If he makes the cover here, this thing could... Oh, oh he's looking at... He passed up a cover. Oh, no, he's, he's in his to go for his, And let me tell you, that you know, we all know that Harley Race trained this guy. But Harley Race finished many matches with that kind of move right there. Damn it, Fred. Hey, that, Harvey, Harley Race finished many, many competitors with that yeah, with a Harley, type of yeah, submission Harley move. Race, yeah, Harley Race finished a lot of people. That's why he influenced me. That's why like, like I finished a lot of people with the King's Lynn Cloverleaf. Yeah, you can finish Fred Rosser, but you can't finish me, Murdoch, and you know this to be true. And don't look at me like that again. I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. I'm out of here. The Champion Series. Only on power and only on fight.